what's up everybody steve here i am back to do my review on the boosted board stealth but before we even go outside and ride it i'm going to start off with the remote all right guys so here's the remote okay so before we get started you know we'll go over a couple of things here lanyard or you know before we get the functionality there's this thumb wheel here now i like the boosted boards thumb wheel fine but it's hard to use with gloves so i actually changed it out with a 3d printed one myself so it works like a charm if you see there so to turn the remote on you hold the button down for two seconds so my board is on the side here and it's on already you hold that on turns on blue light means that it's connected to the board and when the blue light blinks that also means what mode you're in okay green light is battery for the uh, actual remote and then here's the power status for the board. So anytime you want to see uh, how much battery you have left in the board, you click it once. Like I said earlier, it's a multi-function button. It'll show you there and then it'll turn off. Okay. They have a, it's called a dead man switch here. So in order to get the board running, you need to depress that sucker there first. Okay. So you'll hear it. Okay. So it basically um, powers and cuts power to the board when you when you release it you want to switch modes right now you're in mode 2 which is eco you click this button three times it'll give you three beeps and it'll start beeping three times see that okay let's do it again going to mode 4 which is pro Hear that four beeps these lights run now it's beeping four times instead of rifling through the five modes you know in one direction see you hear that so five five beeps you can actually go backwards let's go to mode four so a little trick you didn't know there okay and uh, another one is if uh, you come to a stop, you're done with your ride, you're going to rest or recharge or whatever it is, and you want to shut off, uh, you, you know, a lot of other skateboards, you shut off the remote, you got to shut off the board separately. With this particular remote and board uh, and all boosted boards, what you do is you pull the throttle down and hold the button and it'll shut off. Simple as that. So my board shut off too just now. And one more time before uh, we even move on, let's power on the board here. You see that it's powered. And even with this, um, you can check battery status. If you, you're you on the side of the road or whatever, your board's upside down, click the button once and it'll show your battery status. So it's fully charged. Okay, I'm gonna turn the remote on. Same thing there. So you can check it from the remote again by pushing the button one time after it gets set up there okay so it's on mode two as you can see blinking twice your remote is fully charged or you know sufficiently charged i should say click this once it shows you your battery status right there the board status okay so you're done with your ride you want to shut off your board and the remote at the same time pull the throttle back hold the button down and you see there the light just shut off so the board shut off and that's how you use the remote so i got to take the board out for a ride in fact i got several rides in the last couple of weeks for the board itself it might not have as much flex as the previous models but i honestly think that the flex is great and i gotta say the boosted stratus wheels are pretty darn good like i said during the review they're soft they're really grippy the trucks, I had to tighten them a little bit. They were a little bit too loose for me. But despite all the changes with the in-house parts and Boosted making you know, the complete board, I think they pulled it off on this one. For the modes and acceleration, um, you know, I wanted to start off in beginner mode because I wanted to come at it as if I was new to e-boarding. But that didn't last too long. You know, I moved up to eco mode. Uh, that didn't last long either. I went up to expert mode and 
I, I think I started off there more or less. I did a few runs in pro mode and then I got up to about 20 miles an hour. I didn't want to try and push it to 22 because I didn't have enough room in my secret testing site. Okay, and then there's hyper mode. And you know, the only thing I got to say about that is it's freaking awesome. But I got to tell you all, please ease into it. Go slow, get comfortable with it. Braking, acceleration, you get your balance on there before you go and do something stupid. Please, please, wear some gear. Put on a helmet, put on some pads if you need to, whatever it is to make you feel safe. Because again, I'm gonna say it again, this thing is insane. I think I have a couple of clips of me testing out the Pro and the Hyper Mode. I'm gonna put them on before we get out of here. Just so you know, five beeps, this is hyper mode. Wow, I can't push it all the way. So there you have it, a brief review of the Boosted Board Stealth. I apologize if I didn't get enough shots of the board itself. Uh, most of my shots were just of me riding. And that's because it's just me and my camera. So I might not get the same shots as some of the other videos that you see out there. But again, it's just me and my camera and that's it. I'm going to see how long I can go with that and uh, see where it goes from there. And hopefully I can make more and better videos soon. Would I recommend buying a boosted board stealth? Well, put it this way. If you got the scripts, go out and get one. If you don't got the scripts, save up your money. Go for a cheaper model, maybe a Mini X, Mini S, Dual Plus. Maybe even a version 1 if you're just getting into e-boarding. But I'm sure whatever product you decide to buy, if you decide to buy from Boosted, you get a quality product and great customer support to back it up. So some things I forgot to mention earlier, the Stealth deck itself is a little wider than the version one, version two, dual plus, what have you. Um, it gives you a little bit more room on top, a little more standing room there. I like it, you know, but to each his own. You know, the, the Expert, Pro, and Hyper Modes are, are really torquey. Uh, they have a lot of torque. It might catch you off guard there. I tell you guys, ease into it. This thing is not a toy. In fact, it's an electric vehicle. And I'm doing this because I feel this and other forms of e-transportation, you know, whether it be skateboards, electric scooters, e-bikes, what have you, they're the wave of the future. Especially here in Hawaii where you know we're on an island we don't have enough room for more cars or trucks hey so we're at the end of the review so you know if you like my video please hit the share button smash that like button and leave me some comments below because I'm looking forward to that stuff and until next time please take care of yourselves and we'll see you all later Aloha